Today we are on the AMSOSRAM.com website and we want to explore the Raspberry Pi version of the evaluation kit for the Mira 050 CMOS image sensor. We can see an enlarged view of the image sensor. It actually measures about two and a quarter by two and three quarter millimeters, so this image is very large. It is a 600 by 800 pixel image sensor. There is a description over here, though it might be kind of hard to read. Some of the highlights are that the Mira 050 is a compact half megapixel near IR enhanced global shutter image sensor designed for 2D and 3D consumer and industrial machine vision applications. The sensor has a small 2.79 micron pixel size with high sensitivity. The sensor also has a MIPI CSI2 interface so it can easily interface with many different processors and FPGAs. If we click here we can download a short version of the datasheet. Here is the datasheet for the Mira 050 image sensor. You can check this out to learn more about the specs of the part. Back on the landing page for the Mira 050 CMOS image sensor, if I scroll down, I will find a link to the Raspberry Pi eval kit. So let's go ahead and look at that. This eval kit uses a Raspberry Pi 4B based platform that you can see here. We have the green PCB that has the Mira 050 sensor on it and we've also attached a lens to the circuit board with the sensor on it. Down below here we have a Raspberry Pi 4B board and connecting the image sensor board above to the Raspberry Pi is a 15 connector ribbon cable and I'll show how to connect that. The next step is to walk through the user guide and learn more about how this kit works and then at the end I will actually demonstrate it. Quick start guide for the Mira evaluation kit for the Mira image sensor family which are MIPI image sensors that run on Raspberry Pi. Here is the table of contents. Part one is an introduction with a description of the Mira Evaluation Kit. Remember, for further information, you can refer to the following documents, including data sheets, the Lib Camera Framework, Raspberry Pi documentation, and the Pi Camera 2 library. Section 1.2 talks about some of the key features of this eval kit. It supports both the Mira 220 and Mira 050 image sensors. It's a fully configured image sensing processor for best image quality. It's software based on the Lib Camera, an open source camera stack and framework for Linux, Android, and Chrome OS. It allows raw image capture, and it even allows scripting, which is possible using Python with the Pi Camera 2 library. Out of the box, you should see all these items. The Raspberry Pi 4B board, the Raspberry Pi power supply, the Mira 050 sensor board, the MIPI flat cable assembly, a mini HDMI cable, a tripod or tripod holder with screws, and an M12 lens with screws. Section 3 talks about connecting the hardware and I will demonstrate that shortly. Section 4 reviews the software that comes in the kit. I won't go into detail with that but I will show how to actually use the kit and run some basic functions. Okay let's attach the camera module to the Raspberry Pi. First, we're going to attach a lens here that connects with two Phillips screwdrivers. So you just use your trusty screwdriver to connect that. You can also connect 
a tripod adapter up here, again with your screwdriver. The 15 connector MIPI ribbon cable connects with the blue side facing away from the circuit board of the camera module. The other end, you're going to attach to this connector here on the Raspberry Pi board. First, you need to make sure it's unlocked by flicking with your finger that. Then you insert the blue end towards the ethernet connectors. You slip it in and push it down and clamp it on either side so it's nice and tight. And now you have your camera board connected to the Raspberry Pi board. Okay, now let's make the connections to the Raspberry Pi board. First, we have a USB mouse, so we can connect that to one of the USB ports here in the back. So that is connected. Next, we have a keyboard, USB keyboard, and we're going to connect that USB cable stacked right on top of the other USB. Next, we have the HDMI cable. It's white in the kit that I got. So it has regular HDMI on one end and mini HDMI on the other. The mini HDMI is going to connect in one of these two ports. Uh, I believe it's this one, So, or but it could be this one, either one. And then finally, we're going to connect the Raspberry Pi power source, which is a USB 3. So we'll just connect that right here. All the connections are made, and now we just fire up the display and see what comes up. Now we have the final setup. We have the Raspberry Pi connected with the ribbon cable to the Mira 050 board, which is aiming at these pens in this mug. And here is the display connected to the HDMI port of the Raspberry Pi board. We could do a couple of things here. We can open a terminal window and run different commands or scripts that we've written. For now, I'm going to run something called libcamera-hello, which is sort of a, a wake-up program. So for about five seconds, it will just run the camera and then we can see that everything is working. We can also look at more sophisticated scripts. Here we have a program, AMS Osram Jetsys. There might be other programs here as well, but we're gonna execute this one that comes on the Raspberry Pi. It's gonna go through a lot of Python script commands and then open up this really nice GUI. On the left side here, still capture, I can take a photo. So I'll take a photo and then I can go to slash home slash pi and the photo will be right there. I can also take a video. So if I go to the video tab here, this is going to record an image or actually a file in MP4 format. So it's recording now. So I could go over here and do, do different things and then stop my recording. And then that will be saved in slash home slash pi as well. And we invite you to write your own applications using the Pi Camera 2 application and come up with your own image processing algorithms. So thank you for your interest in AMS Osram and in the Mira 050 Image Sensor Evaluation Kit.